Congratulations on purchasing your Rambo bike. Here are a few things you should know before heading out on your first ride. To remove your battery, simply insert the key that was provided with your Rambo bike and turn it clockwise. Then turn the handle at the top of the battery counterclockwise. This will remove the battery completely from the frame. Then once fully charged, you can reinsert the battery. The best way to do this is insert the bottom of the battery into the bottom of the frame first and then push it the rest of the way in. You can charge your battery by removing and plugging it into the outlet with your charger, or you can also charge it while the battery is still in the frame by flipping open the at the top of the frame and then plugging in the charger into the port. A few things to know about your battery is that it's a good practice to charge your battery after each ride, but do not leave it on the charger for more than eight hours. If you're storing your bike for more than a few months, 70 to 80% charge is ideal. Storage long or short term should be in a dry space between 45 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything above or below is considered extreme and not healthy for your battery. Also, always be sure to remove your battery from your bike when you're transporting it outside your vehicle. Once the battery is fully charged, you can power up the bike with the LCD screen. To do this, press and hold the power button until the display turns on. The plus and minus button will enable you to adjust your power assist level on your bike. Tapping the plus button will increase your power assist level, and then tapping the minus button will lower your power assist level. You have five different power modes, with five being the highest. When you're riding and you come to a complete stop, your power assist level will automatically drop back down to zero after 10 seconds. You can turn on the bike headlight by pressing the light button at the very top. You'll know when the light is on from the light icon on the top left of the LCD screen. You can cycle through the display modes by tapping the I button. And then you can simply turn off the LCD screen by holding down the power button. In pedal assist modes 1 through 5, you can use the throttle on the left side of the handlebars to propel you along. On the right side of the handlebars will be your shifter. The Pursuit 2.0 has 8 gears, with 8 being the highest gear and 1 being the lowest gear. Low gears are good for climbing hills and high gears are good for higher speeds. To shift into a lower gear, press forward on the thumb paddle until you hear a click. And then to shift into a higher gear, press down on the finger paddle until you hear a click. You can see which gear you're in by the sliding indicator. This may take some practice, but shift accordingly to your terrain. Before adjusting your seat post, keep in mind that there is a minimum insertion length that is labeled on the seat post. Adjust the seat post height so your knee is almost locked out at the bottom of the turn. To do this, you can sit on your bike while stationary and pedal backwards. To maximize comfort, you want to adjust your handlebars in a way that feels most natural and practical. This may require adjusting your handlebars with the provided Allen wrench. Loosen the bolts slightly and rotate the handlebars back and forth. Once you have a comfortable position, you can tighten them back down. Ideally, you want your wrists to be straight when touching the brakes. Not too high, not too low, and your elbows should be slightly bent when holding the handlebars. You're also able to adjust the height and overall position of the handlebars. To do this, use a 5mm Allen wrench to loosen the bolt on the front end underneath the handlebars. You can then position the handlebars where it feels most natural, and then tighten it back down with a 5mm Allen wrench. Before riding, you should always check your tire pressure. You may need to add more air. Ideal riding air pressures may vary depending on terrain, but 7 to 15 PSI is a good pressure to stick with. Before going out on your first ride, it's a good idea to check and make sure all the bolts and adjustments are secured tightly to your bike from the initial assembly. We have organized a checklist that you can use to run through on your bike. We'll add a link in the description that you can use to download this checklist. The final thing to do on your Rambo bike is to have a good brake burn-in procedure. In a controlled and clean environment, preferably on pavement, get the bike up to a good speed of around 8 to 10 miles per hour. Firmly and evenly apply the front brake until the bike comes almost to a complete stop. Repeat this process 20 times for the front brake and then 20 times for the rear brake. This must be done separately to ensure a good brake burn-in. You are now ready to take out your Rambo bike on its first ride. Congratulations again on purchasing your Rambo bike.